I bought this tripod four years ago in the Philippines and I don't even know its brand. But if you compare my tripod with the Amazon Basics, K&F Concept, Coleman Alpha and many other tripods on Amazon, you can see that they all sell the at least 95% same tripod just with different brand stickers on it. I think, considering its low price, this tripod can be made very tall and that's why I bought the tripod in the first place. The legs are made of aluminium and even after 4 years work perfectly fine. The clamps are made out of plastic but also work perfectly fine. The feet or however you want to call them are flexible and adjust themselves to the angle of the floor. The legs are super easy to unfold, even after doing it hundreds of times. You can see a few beat ups on the tripod legs but nothing too bad. To extend the tripod further you have to turn that thing which is kind of funny. I mean it's not the most practical way but it works and once you secure it again it won't move. The tripod head is 100% plastic. The base plate can be put in all four directions. You can tighten it up on the camera very well without a screwdriver. Easier than on my Manfrotto base plates. I still attach most of the time my Manfrotto quick release system so that I can switch between my Manfrotto tripod, gimbal and this tripod within seconds. The base plate is being held well but I don't trust it as much as I trust my Manfrotto fluid head. And that's why I usually don't use the tripod for upright pictures. I just don't trust it enough. To make pens you open the screw to move it up and down, the arm thing. Kind of interesting but it's alright. This tripod is fine for taking time lapse videos or normal pictures. But it's not good for macro pictures because it doesn't hold super tight in one position. Like you secure it and then it might still move a few centimeters. For videos it's fine as long as you don't move. I never use the tripod for pens because it's not a fluid head. I mean it kind of works as long as you are on wide angle but since I have my Manfrotto fluid head there's just no reason to use it. The tripod is definitely not usable for macro video movement or anything that is more zoomed in. For that you need to get a fluid head like my Manfrotto MVH 500AH. I still use the tripod a lot because for my reviews and tutorials I often need two tripods when I film myself making adjustments on a camera. I have to use the Manfrotto tripod on the camera that I make the adjustments on because this cheaper tripod would move too much what looks annoying. Two more problems. Even though the screw is completely tightened it still has a lot of room to move. And when I untighten it the head just slips out if I hold it there. However, I can't say for sure whether those two problems were like this from the beginning or only occurred over time due to extensive usage. One advantage is its low weight. If I go hiking for a time lapse video where I know I won't do any movement, I rather bring this tripod because it is so much lighter than my Manfrotto. The back of the tripod broke within a few months but it's alright since I don't need it anyway. So is this tripod good for you? As long as you don't plan to take any videos that involve movement and as long as you don't plan to take macro pictures or videos, this tripod is definitely fine. Quality wise it's alright considering its low price. 